Hi everyone, I'm Jing Wen from I'm Jing Wen, a PhD student from Professor Mark Chason's lab in University of Southern California. Today I will be presenting ARA, the long read aligner for sequences and assembling context. First, I will talk about the background and motivation behind the ARA. As long read single molecule sequencing is becoming more and more established as a routine for sequencing genomes, it is possible to detect uh, structure variants directly from alignment. And uh, SBs can also be discovered from long read single molecule uh, sequence assemblings, which has a benefit that the SB breakpoint may be direct directly decided from the assembly alignment. When doing sequence alignment, choosing the appropriate gap penalty is very important, which can um, correctly reflect the biological variants. Fn function and the convex function are two um, gap penalty functions that are commonly used. As shown, as it is showing the figure, the purple line shows the shape of a, a convex function, and the blue line shows the shape of a, an Fn function. Different uh, gap penalty functions would result in different alignment across the SV event. For example, here we have three exact matches. If we use convex gap, fun gap penalty function, the resulting alignment could be from anchor I directly to anchor I plus two, which leaves a big insertion in, um, in the query. However, if we use affine gap penalty function, the resulting alignment could be from anchor I to anchor I plus one and then to anchor I plus two, which leaves two insertions uh, in the alignment. Under the biological background, one larger insertion is preferred than um, several smaller insertions. There are already several aligners uh, using convex gap penalty, for example, minimap two and NGMLR. However, uh, Minimap2 uses heuristics and uh, NGMLR adopts inefficient chaining algorithm. And therefore, we wanted to develop a new aligner um, that implements efficient chaining algorithm with a convex gap penalty. Now let's move on to the methods and the pipeline of ARA. Uh, ARA use a common approach to map um, long sequences back to the reference which is called seeding and chaining. There are three, there are three sub steps of seeding and chaining. First, exact matches are found between the uh, sequence and the reference. And then LRA use sparse dynamic programming algorithm with a convex gap penalty to find a subset, which are highlighted in red here. And then banded alignment is used to fill in the space between adjacent anchors on the chain. Now let's take a closer look at the seeding step of ARA. ARA builds a minimizer index uh, on the reference. Minimizer is a commonly used uh, subsampled index method that uh, indexes the position of the lexicographically minimal camer uh, in a sliding window of size W across a reference. Usually people would avoid using extra repetitive minimizers by removing minimizers with a high multiplicity. Uh, but this limit the sampling in the uh, repetitive regions. So ARA use um, uh, a variant of the approach of minimizers um, to avoid oversampling in the unique regions and increase the sampling near parallel specific variants that distinguish repetitive regions. So basically we just partition the reference into intervals of length W and minimizers starting in each interval are picked in the order of multiplicity until N minimizers are obtained in each interval. Um, so after we get the set of all the anchors from the seeding step, uh, one of the choice is that we can feed all the anchors to SDP to get the optimal chain of, uh, of anchors. However, this is very inefficient and time consuming. 
so we must so we must limit the input anchor size to SDP. We notice that there are multiple approximate aligned intervals uh, in the figure of these uh, exact matches. Um, so what LRA does is to find the best uh, aligned path through those approximate aligned intervals and only pass anchors on this path to SDP to get the optimal chain of anchors. And this way, it effectively reduces the, uh, size of the size of the input anchors to SDP. For, um, in order to find the best aligned path through approximate aligned intervals, there are several sub steps conducted in LRA. First, LRA would close, uh, would cluster, would partition, sorry, would partition anchors that are close to each other uh, into fine clusters. Each fine cluster represents an approximate aligned intervals between the read and the reference. Uh, and then those fine clusters would be split on overlapping boundaries because the previous step is kind of uh, over clustering anchors and the next step would require non-overlapping uh, clusters as input. Here we uh, highlight each split uh, fine clusters with a with a box. Um, so each split fine clusters can be treated as a, a super fragment with a start and end. In the next step, we just feed all the uh, super fragments from the previous step to SDP to get an optimal chance through super fragments. And this uh, optimal pass through super fragments does not give any pairwise alignment details, but uh, it does give us a rough alignment pass. And so from, from now on, we will refer this pass as rough alignment pass for better explanation. Uh, LRA continues to get pairwise alignment details based on the rough alignment path. So first, uh, the length of the regional anchors might be too large, which results in sparse anchors on the path. And therefore, LRA would replace the regional anchors with denser and smaller ones um, by, match, uh, the, by matching the query and the genome using local minimizer indexes of smaller uh, of small windows tiling genome. And, uh, and finally, we just input all the anchors on the path into SDP to opti to obtain an optimal chain through anchors. And uh, banded alignment would be applied to uh, the space between JSON anchors on the chain to fill in the space. We keep mentioning a uh, sparse dynamic programming algorithm with a convex gap penalty. Now uh, we will dive into more details of it, about it. So the input to the algorithm would be a set of fragments and the out output would be a subset of fragments with the highest score. Uh, the score is defined as a summation of uh, the match, match bonus of all the uh, fragments in the subset and minus the gap penalty to train uh, uh, adjacent fragments together. Uh, one thing to note that is that one thing to note, uh, worth to note is that there's a constraint on the ordering of the fragments in the subset. So fragment F of J plus one needs to be above and to the right of fragment F of J. So at the very beginning, we mentioned the reason that we want to use convex gap penalty in our aligner. Now I will explain why we use our dynamic programming algorithm in LRA. From this table, we can see that with convex gap penalty, Pairwise alignment, naive pairwise alignment uh, takes big O of uh, 
m cubic time, where m is the length of the sequence. And this can be speed up to big O of m, m square uh, log m time. With convex gap penalty, naive sparse dynamic programming takes big O of n uh, square time. n is the number of anchors, and uh, this can be speed up to big O of n times log n log n square time. So clearly, uh, uh, sparse dynamic programming algorithm with convex gap penalty is more efficient than pairwise alignment because um, m is really larger than n. So Epstein, Galileo, and uh, Giancarlo gave a description of the big O of n times log n square solution for sparse dynamic programming algorithm with a convex gap penalty. However, this algorithm uses very complex asynchronous processing, and uh, this has never been applied to uh, bi bioinformatics and a sequence alignment since 1992. So we develop a more simple imp implementation of this algorithm with synchronous computation and, and extend this algorithm to allow for inversions. Before I uh, go to talk about the general idea behind this algorithm, I need to point out that the chaining of fragments equals to chain the start point of one fragment to an end point of another. So for each starting point, all the ending points in this lower left rectangle region would be possible predecessor. So a uh, SDB algorithm would recursively partition this search region into subproblems, and uh, those subproblems will later be solved uh, uh, in order to get the best pre predecessor for the starting point. On the right, it shows the data structure for each subproblem to help maintain the best predecessor. Um, those data structures are de were described were described in the paper of Epstein and his colleagues. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, um, this solution Epstein and his colleagues gave uh, 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 uses a synchronous processing and is incredibly, incredibly complex. By adding extra uh, simple data structures um, for each subproblem, we give a much more simple implementation of the sparse dynamic programming with convex gap penalty, which allows synchronous processing of the subproblems. Now let's move on to the results. First, uh, the runtime analysis of different aligners. So for uh, aligning nanopore rates, Minimap2 is faster than LRA and uh, NGMLR. The runtime of LRA is about 130% of minimap2 when generating same uh, alignment, uh, and is about 15% um, 15, 15 of NGMLR. When, map, when aligning assembling context, uh, the runtime of LRA and minimap2 is about the same, uh, although LRA takes uh, roughly twice the memory, it was impossible for NGMLR to align assembling context. The whole point behind ARA is uh, generate uh, uh, better alignments across SV events. Uh, so we applied a Truvari to benchmark co SV cost sets from different alignments of nanopore rates um, to the established HG002 uh, SV as we said, with high confidence. From this table, we can see that the precision recall and F1 score of LRA is much better than minimum two and NGMLR, um, which indicates that LRA might be better in aligning a nanopore rates across SV events um, than minimum two and NGMLR. Uh, one thing is worthy to note is that uh, with uh, is that there might be um, room for room of improvement for SV callers since we find uh, find that 
uh, a large number of false negative actually has uh, over 20% of supporting rates. On the right, we show the precision and record curves from deletion of 10,000 to insertion of 10,000. From this figure, we can see that um, ARA is better than MMF2 and NG NGMLR, especially in insertion and big insertion regions. Here it shows a screenshot of IGV of read alignment from LRA and MEMAP2. Uh, uh, on the top, it shows, uh, shows an insertion of about 5,300 bases in the established HG002SV set. So the top panel shows LRA alignment. We can see that LRA gives um, very strong support for this insertion, while in minimap two alignment, it shows a deletion of about 1,200, and on the left, it shows uh, lots. It shows lots of indels are clustering together, which makes the alignment less con convincing. Here's another screenshot of uh, IGV. So on the top it shows a deletion of about 5,600 bases. We can see that LRA alignment gives more supporting rates for this deletion than Minimap2. Uh, we conducted a similar Truvari analysis on the SV cost from assembling alignment. From this table, we can see that um, the precision recoil and F1 score of ARA is better than MINIMAP2, which, which indicates that ARA alignment might be better across the SP events than MINIMAP2 for assembling context. Here is a screenshot of the IGV view of uh, assembling alignment from ARA and MINIMAP2. So the top two panel shows ARA alignment for both haplotypes. We can see a clear deletion of about 18,000 18, bases. Uh, while the lower two panel shows minimap two alignment, we can see that minimap two uh, splits the rate into two and uh, um, a lot of indels clustering together at the boundary of this deletion. Finally, the conclusion. So today I introduce uh, ARA as a long read aligner for long sequences and assembling context. On nanopore rates, the runtime of ARA is about 130% of the state of the art aligner minimap two when generating SAM output. And it's about 15% of NGMLR. Through the Truvari analysis on the established HG002SV set with high confidence, area alignment may be more accurate and sensitive in SV sites than MINIMAP2 and NGMAR when aligning nanopore rates and assembling contigs. Finally, ARA is available in Bioconda, so it's very easy to install and run the alignment commands, so uh, welcome to try it out. Finally, I want to thank my advisor, Mark, and my lab mates, Song Yu, Robel, and Jian Zhi. And I also want to thank the support of Andrew Viterbi Fellowship.